Okay, it's pumpkin season. There's loads of pumpkin around now. So what we're gonna do is make a fantastic little pasta dish using the pumpkin that you've got left. First of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook the pasta off. So what we've got here is we've got the water boiling. We need to get this water boiling. If you don't get the water boiling when you cook the pasta off, it'll actually stick together. We just pour the pasta into there like that and we stir it around. We've got a little bit of oil in there. The oil's really important. If we don't put the oil in with the boiling water, the pasta will stick together. So we just stir it, put the lid back on the top. I'll come back in a couple of minutes, I'll give it another little stir. Eight minutes time, we want to be putting that pasta under the cold water to refresh it. Okay, we've washed the pasta off. Now it's time to make the main event. So what we're going to do here is make sure the oil's up to temperature again. It's really important whenever we're going to make anything, the oil's always up to temperature. So we've got some nice onions. So we put the onions in there. Okay, I'm going to put that pump pumpkin into there now. Mm. And then put the nice mixed peppers into there. There we go. Off it goes. We give it a nice little stir. We keep it moving around the pan. So we're going to add in the garlic next. Yep, I've got a little bit of basil to put in there as well. So we're gonna put the mushrooms into there now. Okay, there they go. Put a little bit of celery into there. To put a little squash. Okay, got some nice little chopped tomatoes. Really sweet as well. Put those into there. And we just stir it around and you can see it's starting to cook. It's starting to break down. It's starting to go nice and soft. We're going to let this cook for 15 minutes. Now I'm just going to go and get the vasili and we'll finish the dish off. This is cooking absolutely lovely. So what we're going to do now is just serve it up. And just to finish off there, a nice little bit of chopped parsley over the top. And it's absolutely a fantastic dish. I absolutely love this dish. So any pumpkin that's left, here it is in a nice quick dish.